this is Liberian TV Network. Today we are here at the office of the Motosako Union of Liberia. And of course, it's Reggio Granger County sub office. My name is Lord Father. We'll be joined by the president. Mr. President, thanks for joining us. Thank you and good morning. Uh, my name is Aaron Safawiya, the president of the Mr. President, it's nice to have you. Uh, how is uh, the office doing and how is the work? Well, uh, the office of the Saga is doing great and we are actually making sure that the work of the motor Saga is being done. We are reaching out to every power uh, making sure we're seeing the welfare of every power across the country. So everything has been doing cool with us. Everything has been doing cool with us. Let's talk about the enforcement of your regulations, especially uh, to uh, the county. How is it going? Are the cyclists adhering to the rules and regulations govern motorcyclists across Liberia? Because the grand leader is of no exception when it comes to box activities. Yeah, uh, basically we are currently operating our own enforcement that have to do with the seal of our stickers okay. and rather identification at the card and the seal of our daily ticket. So I must say that the motorcycle in French are actually supporting the union so that the union will be more stronger. You are the bar rather themselves, see, they see the union as their own institution. Okay. So if they don't support the union, no one else can come outside to support the union. Okay. So bar rather are coming to the office making sure that they have their yearly stickers and some of them are taking their yearly articles. Uh, great to hear that one. Now, let, let's talk about other cyclists that are coming from other counties. Are, are they also adhering to your regulations here? Oh, sure. Because we have the long range parking where you have a uh, circle from the 14 counties can park there. So, whenever they enter, we make sure we go to them. Some of them have their county sticker. They can also be given the opportunity to fly in the street of Sweden. Some of them don't have stickers. We can also engage them and ask them a few questions where they come from and where they, where they are going. Some of them can say, oh, they are going to Canada. Some of them can say, oh, we come to also in, in the grand there. And we can encourage them to come to the country for proper registration so they can be able to join the other power rather in grand there. One of the uh, problems in, uh, that are rendering in the streets of corner of the county has to do with motorcyclists being used uh, to jack people things uh, like uh, bags, uh, cell phones, and all of this stuff. What are you doing to put stop uh, to these activities, illegal activities? We we are been working in line with the chief of office, the chief of operation, and the labor national police. Uh, we have been working together, making sure that we minimize the issue of. Uh, Sacrally, some uh, less sacred checking from because you understand there are lot serious investigations that we have conducted. Okay. Sometimes those people that you commit an act on the bar cannot be original bar rally. Sometimes they can ask for their friend bar to go and, and check people's material. Okay. Several times we came across such a event. So we are carrying on the awareness not to give your back to criminal to go and steal somebody something because you as a rally, you will be the one that will attack it because you give the material. So right now he's in the city of Zweju, we are being minimized based on our awareness and based on our constant engagement at night time with some of our background. When you are taking over, you uh, told the cyclists the issue of the health insurance, uh, where when a motorcycle uh, have accident, you can go and be treated. Uh, how is that uh, uh, your promise made to the cycle? Is it functional uh, or not? If not, why is the whole? Well, uh, our promise uh, is functional and we are committed to to the motorcycle. In the, in the field, we found out that the biggest challenge that we face with is the issue of the, the healthcare service delivery system for motorcycle across the country. Okay. And we ourselves decided to have the minimum as uh, put the minimum as in place so that our motorcyclists can have a, a health service. Okay. Now we since we started uh, our two years now we 
we have been operating with TD uh, clinics that okay. means treating our background. That's good. From the extent of the, 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 the union, through the money they pay, uh, we have the Christian Faith Lab uh, uh, located on Bosetti Hour Street. Uh, we have a series of received here where we carry motorcycle and some passenger that like, sometimes you put in your accident. Because when the bag when the bag rather have accident, sometimes the rather itself may not be uh, uh, winning in the accident, sometimes the passenger. So the union also take charge of that passenger health care. And we have the gold fever medicine store located on Twa Street. We also have received that we can prove that yes, we have been carrying people there for treatment and uh, whenever they are involved in accident. And last year we were in agreement with uh, the yeah, the Happy Hand Clinic, owned by one of our sisters, Jessica Fue. She and us sat down and she, she made that offer. But due to some other reasons now, that agreement we are with Jewish because it's not active for now. Okay. So we sometimes take our back rather at the, uh, the, the main hospital, okay. Mata Tome, for treatment because if the, if the uh, uh, accident is major, we take you, but when a man of issue, we take you for the first aid. So our first aid treatment have been functional. And some bag rather who have been who we've been treating, if you see any accident, they will tell you yes, uh, we have been doing that. So we are committed to the service when we come to our health service delivery system. One of the things you also promise is to uh, continue providing uh, training for them, especially the uh, newcomer who just got on at the back, even those who are on the back to continue training them. Uh, I can remember when you were taking over, even prior to uh, your taking over when you were contesting. How is that working as well, especially training uh, motorcyclists on the regulations, on the traffic rules? Yeah, um, we we started with the training aspect through the office of Chief Ochoa uh, uh, as a camera. Okay. And it provided one hour, 30 minute uh, workshop on the basic traffic violation I have to do with opposite lane, on an edge ride, slipper ride, yeah. lagging of view mirror, usage, the usage of hemming. So we, we are also in a uh, close communication with few state actors. Okay. Because we don't want for the training aspect of the one that we are preparing now, we don't want for it to be like only the motorcycle is taking on the training aspect. So we are including uh, the, the, the Ministry of Health to be part of the process. We are including the Labrador National Police. We are including MIA, Ministry of Youth and Sports, to work in line with the, the motorcycle so that we have uh, a unique training that will go up for, uh, 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 um, for four to five months. You understand that training is highly co uh, costly. It requires money because those people that you're going to bring to facilitate the process, they need money. So the first training, we ourselves facilitated the entire uh, uh, process. So now we are reaching out to key state actors and those uh, government institutions to help us carry on a five months training. In a week, we may have, we may conduct training three times a week. Quickly, before we take leave of you, let's talk about uh, the issue of the plate. Is it different from the Ministry of Transport plate? If yes, how are you uh, working out this so that uh, uh, yours will not encompass or uh, maybe have problem with the Ministry of Transport when it comes to the plate and the regulations? Uh, the plate regulation is Ministry of Transport are responsible to issue plates. Okay. Uh, so we as a leadership, we, on, we are not opposing to government and regulation, more than the kind of plate enforcement. Okay. So when the information reaches us that, oh yeah, transport is ready to issue out plates, we are able to reach out to the minister himself, uh, himself okay. uh, Minister Selly Tara. Okay. There are a few issues that we outline in our communication. First, we told him that we are not opposing, we are not resisting, that we are not bad play. But understand that since motorcyclists union came to be in Liberia, there is no government support. We only get support from some local and international institutions. Now that government is want to bring place, what will be the percentage uh, that the institution will get so that they can be able to seek the welfare or the barrel. Your mind you now, if government introduce plates, 
they will sometimes uh, have influence on the union in terms of selling stickers. Okay. Because some motorcycles will resist not to buy stickers. Mm -hmm. So it is the plan that the government have to say, okay, since you people have been in charge of the motorcycle for years, this is the percentage. And our communication is read right before it text. Okay. So we are looking up to them. Because we don't want to uh, create issues that maybe people may see circle in Grand Jira to be different from other circle. But the matter of the fact is, after this uh, circle thing purchase in the place, who make who run after their welfare? On a daily basis, motorcycle can have accident. Mm -hmm. Will transport come and seek their welfare? Will transport say, okay, since we have matter to me, all the bad rather in Grand Jira, through the union leadership, we have a free service there for them to go and have their first aid treatment. That is the issue that, that we put before that we are looking up. Since then, we have not received any uh, formal inform uh, communication from Transpo, but we have received uh, information and uh, communication from the minister himself receiving our communication. So we are still waiting on them so that they can tell us what will be the model Saturdays percentage so that tomorrow the leadership can have the stem uh, seeking their welfare. And we are not opposing them. We are not opposing them. Anything else we never ask you want to speak up quickly before and, we take the vote? And you. again, we want to say we are working on a lot of things because we intend to make sure that after riding back, the circle should be a professional people in society okay. because riding back is just a way of life. It's not a career. So currently we are designing an educational program for our barrel across the eight administrative districts where we are in communication with the key best institution here in Sweju. At the multilateral. At the multilateral. So that the nearby days will come, will call you and tell you uh, in a year. Let 20 or 50 months are be able to be, uh, be a professional people from the field okay. through the lobbyist power of our leadership. So we are not only sitting here to collect stickers, money, or article, but we are making sure that the life of the motorist are be and uh, to stand up. Because mind you now, things are opening up. Today, when the road shall re enter Grand Chile, the issue of drive by may be a little bit limited. So we that only travel right now, where will be our next thing? Once we ever three will learn at the Sweden Multilateral, we will be the one that will live, we will live back. So thank you so much for coming. And we're always hoping to receive you at our office. His name is uh, Aaron Siafa. We are is the president for the Federation of Motor uh, and Trasaco Union of Liberia here in Israel, Grand Gia County. My name is Law Father. Don't forget share, like, and comment on our Liberian TV network. Until I talk to you, have a pleasant day from my end. Bye bye.